Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you three recipes that use meat substitutes. Now these recipes are especially perfect for you if you have to cook for a meat eater or if you still eat meat yourself or even if you're ready to transition to a vegan or vegetarian diet. This video is sponsored by Gardein and I'm gonna be using their meatless substitutes in each of the recipes. They're familiar, they're delicious, and they're easy to make. This is part of Gardein's Meat Talks Challenge and we're encouraging people to go meat free for at least one day a week. And I promise you it's super easy to do, especially when you have these delicious recipes and also these meat substitutes that taste just like the real thing. So let's get started. Our first recipe is Kung Pao chicken. We'll be using Gardein's crispy chicken, but we'll make our own Kung Pao sauce. Of course, we'll also add some veggies. First, Chop the veggies and then set them aside while we pan fry the Gardein chicken. I'm not gonna be using the sauce that comes with it. Cook on both sides until it's golden brown and crispy, about five minutes. Set the cooked vegan chicken onto a plate and set it aside. Into the same pan, add the chopped veggies and saute until tender. Meanwhile, make your sauce. Combine soy sauce, dry sherry, sesame oil, veggie broth, black pepper and white pepper, white vinegar, and sugar. Stir well, and then mix in the cornstarch. Stir it until there are no clumps. Once the veggies are tender, add the cooked vegan chicken and pour the sauce over. Stir as it thickens over low heat. Top with black sesame seeds and red chili flakes. Serve it over rice and garnish with green onion. Mmm, this tastes so much like Chinese seigal. This is delicious. And if you make this recipe, or any of the other recipes from this video, or even if you make your own using the Guardian products, and you tag Metox Challenge, hashtag Metox Challenge, you'll automatically be entered to win $500 in Guardian products. So keep that in mind too. Now let's make vegan fish tacos with Guardian's Golden Fishless Fillets. We'll start by baking the fishless fillets for 15 minutes. While they're in the oven, we can make our salsa. Chop red onion, jalapeno pepper, cilantro, lime, and fresh juicy tomato. Stir well and season with salt. We'll also make chipotle mayo by simply stirring adobo sauce into vegan mayo. Once our fishless fillets are crispy, I'm going to slice them into strips. Lastly, shred some red and green cabbage for topping. Fill a warm tortilla with the chipotle mayo, the fishless strips, the fresh salsa, and the shredded cabbage. Slice jalapeno, more cilantro, and more fresh lime juice make a nice garnish. One of the things that I get most asked about is what's a good replacement for fish? Well, here you have it. This is my favorite Gardein product. The fishless fillets, they take me back. Mmm. And now let's make the last but not least, we're making dirty rice, which is an amazing Creole staple recipe. It's one of my favorites and another one that really takes me back. This time, I'm using Gardein Beefless Ground. Minced garlic, diced onion, and chopped celery, bell pepper, and green onion. Also slice some mushrooms. Saute the onion, celery, and bell pepper, the holy trinity of Creole cooking, before adding the garlic and green onion. Once the veggies are tender, add the mushrooms. I'm also going to add in a bay leaf. 
Once the mushrooms have released their liquid, add the beefless ground and the veggie broth and spices, including homemade Creole seasoning from my cookbook and porcini mushroom powder, which really deepens the umami flavor. Stir everything well. Finally, stir in the rice. Get it nice and dirty. Top it off with soy sauce and red chili flakes. Parsley is a nice garnish too. Okay, now we can't have our dirty rice without the hot sauce. Mm. This is really, oops, what makes it, what makes it complete. Mmm, so legit. You could totally serve this to someone and don't tell them that it's vegan. They wouldn't know. Perfect. I'd say the same thing about all these recipes, actually. So I hope you guys enjoyed these three meat-free recipes. I hope you'll give them a try also. As always, let me know which one you preferred and are gonna try first. And thank you to Gardein for sponsoring this video and for existing and having such delicious meat substitutes. I'm telling you guys, I've been vegan for over seven years now and it just gets easier and easier and easier. And nowadays there's really no excuse not to be vegan because we have things like Gardein. So give these recipes a try. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions about transitioning yourself or your family to going vegan, let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to use hashtag MeatTalksChallenge if you're going meat-free this month and for a chance to win $500 in Gardein products. All you have to do is post that hashtag to social media and you'll be automatically entered. All the info about that, plus the recipes for today's dishes, will be in the description box down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. And of course, leave a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Bye.